Hey there everyone, my name is Hitesh and welcome to the video of introduction to freeAPI.app, an amazing open source project which is going to forever change the process of how you learn how to handle APIs. Whether you are learning how to handle APIs in Ruby on Rails, JavaScript, Next.js, React.js, PHP, anything else, even in the API testing or microservices, this is your one-stop solution to learn and master the APIs. We wanted to create a single solution which is open source and is available to every single person who wants to learn the APIs, not just the basics of API, actually go ahead and master the complex level APIs that are there. This will help you to build the next level project as a showcase project for your front-end application, regardless of what the framework or library you are using, Maybe you are using just the JavaScript, jQuery, React, Next.js. Maybe you are using something like Flutter, React Native, Core Android, Core iOS. You just name it, it is compatible with every single piece of that. We wanted to build a single solution which helps you to master the API and that's exactly what we have done with this free API project. Over the year, we saw this problem. Everybody learns the basic API, does some joke APIs or some random user APIs or maybe a GitHub API at a max, but it doesn't give the confidence that can I handle the APIs. When you move into the real world industry, the APIs are of different scale and different level. You get the responses in different formats. Maybe there is a gzip format, uh, there is a JPEG response format, and there is so much more of complex data that comes up. This gives anxiety to the developer that whatever I've learned on the YouTube or in the course, the production is actually way different than this. We wanted to solve this one with an open source project and we solved it with the free API.app. This open source project is not a race to give you that you can go ahead and contribute in this project. This open source project has a goal, goal to make simplify the learning of the users so that they can actually feel more confident via handling the APIs, regardless of the programming language or the framework that you're using. You can use this to build your front ends of web, mobile as well. You can also use this as a sample project to understand how the complex backends are written. Not only that, testers can use this as a testing suite to learn how to test the APIs. And people who are working in advanced microservices can use this as a sample project to attach with the different APIs that you're writing in maybe Java or maybe in Ruby or maybe in Golang. That is also completely possible and is compatible with this project. This easy to set up project is super amazing and is super beginner friendly. All it takes is just npm install a little configuration in the environment file and that's it. You are done and up and running within few minutes. If you use Docker, it's even faster than that. And also we have a setup guide installation video for that in the playlist. You can go ahead and check out this. We have worked a lot in the documentation section of this entire project. And the way we have approached the documentation is on another level. Every documentation is given to you along with the project on the homepage. As soon as you install it, just make it up and running. And the Docker is served to you in the Swagger format. These are interactive documentation so that you can execute all the queries directly from the documentation itself. In case you want to use it with Thunder Client or Postman or any other favorite tool of your API request, you can do that as well. But our documentation is completely capable of directly hitting the request and you can do work with that. This entire project is divided into three major portion of it, which will help you to a progressively complex behavior and learning of the APIs. The step one is to go into kitchen sink. Kitchen sink is where we call that you are just getting started to learn the APIs. You will learn about how the different methods are there, what are the different HTTP verbs that you can use, all the get, put, post request, as well as what kind of response can come it from the data. The response could be a simple JSON response or could be a gzip response or maybe it could be an image response. There's so many more data that can come up from the network and you will learn how to handle that. You can try that. The step two is to learn how to handle the public APIs. This is where we have set up a lot of documentation about how you can make the request about getting the random user, getting the books data, getting the meals data, cats, dogs, a lot of things are there along with the pagination and whole bunch of other things. You can just make the request, handle the response, build some beautiful cards over it, maybe manage the states on that or something more. You can do a lot more in that. After that, we are moving on to the little bit complex part of it. And through this entire application, we have taken care that how the data is being served to you. 
within just one request, you can actually go ahead and remove and reset the entire database that you have messed up. Yes, there is post, create, everything that is there, but with one request, you can reset everything. Not only that, with just one request, you can go ahead and populate selective data as well. Because in the phase three, we move on to the apps. Apps is where the complexity starts to get a little bit more. In the first, you can go ahead and try out your to-do app, just the basic, but you can populate with a one single request the already existing database, and you can go ahead and make your own data as well. And you can reset it anytime. Once you are done and confident with that, welcome to the complexity level next. This is where you choose and pick up your project. As of now, this is the start of the project. So we have added e-commerce as well as a social media application. These are complex applications, not your ordinary one. It has all the features like mails and payment gateway integration and everything. And this is where the complexity start. And you can always again seed the database or populate your database with just one command. Seed the database, seed the user database, and you can learn all about uh, all the authentication and authorization. You will be able to do all the complex stuff which regular authorization does. On top of that, build your own social media app or an e-commerce app. The UI is totally on you. You can be as creative as you like. And as the time will progress, we'll be adding more complex application to this one. This is just the start of this massive mega project that we have been working for a really long time. This will help you to not only just build any application, but really a complex application. And front-end is totally left on your creativity. You can use Tailwind, Bootstrap, Material CSS, or your own custom component. And you can handle the way how you like it. Maybe you want to handle it in pop-up. Maybe you want to handle it on a new page. Whatever, it's totally up to you. Whatever the front-end tech you want to use, it's compatible with everything. Go ahead and use it with the React Native, Flutter, Next.js, uh, anything that you like, you can go ahead and work with that. This is really a hard work that we have put up so that we can make learners life really easy. I would so much appreciate that if you can go ahead and put up a GitHub star on this, share this entire open source project with the world. One more thing I would really, really like to request. This project was not made in the race of doing something for the open source or just for the star that, hey, uh, we know open source or we know want to launch a course on open source or something like that. This was totally intention uh, behind this project was to make the learner's life easy. That's why we are making this open source. If you want to contribute anything into it, first reach out to me. Let's plan the proper contribution from your side in case you are a backend developer or want to somehow contribute this. There are so many ways you can do it, but just making a pull request about our grammar, about our readme file is really, really a bad idea. Please don't do this. Maintaining an open source project is already so much pain and we are doing all this for free. Don't overload our work. This is my only and only humble request. It is super exciting project and for the next uh, couple of years, we'll be working constantly on it. There is, this is just the version one. We have so much planned for the version two as well, which obviously we'll be releasing. So keep an eye on this channel. So I'm super excited and super happy to launch this project. Although this project was supposedly to be launched in the month of August on my birthday on 2nd of August, but since the project was all ready and set up, we thought let's go ahead and launch it pre. So this is a pre-launch. So go ahead and check out freeapi.app. The website interface will be keep on evolving. This is just a boilerplate code right now, but it works everything out of the box. So super excited and would like to invite you to this, our massive MAGA open source project, freeapi.app. Let's master the API.